Uh, Maryland Terrapins, C.J. Brown, starting quarterback, returning after 20 ACL last year, and Dexter McDougall in the secondary for the Terps. Now, Dexter, I have to ask, at any point last season, did you consider volunteering to play quarterback? Actually, I did, but I didn't say anything. I kept it in here. I didn't say anything. I just kept playing corner. But if they called my name, I would have did it. Did any other of your teammates speak up and say, you know what, I, 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 maybe coach you should try me? There were some kids in my class who were asking me. <laughs> they said they should be able to get a shot. They like, talked to Coach Essie for me. I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do, man. <laughs> but CJ, you're feeling good. Feeling good. But 100% healthy. You know, uh, got cleared. You know, I'm not held back from anything full go. Got cleared from the knee brace. So everything, you know, everything checks out. I feel good. I feel healthy. I'm ready to go. Awesome. All right. Let's, uh, let's take questions. We've got a couple people with the mics. If you have a question for CJ Brown and Dexter McDougall, let us know. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it going, though, until we get the question from out there. Um, I read something interesting you said about the recovery process, and you said it was very lonely. Talk about what you meant by that and, and the, re the, re the, re the rehab you had to go through. I mean, it was just tough when it happened. I would say, you know, because it happened in the preseason during camp, you know, it was tough, you know. Um, you know, when you go down with that type of injury and you understand that, you know, after all the hard work and all the, uh, the time, the weight room, the film room and everything that you, you know, you put that time and effort in and then for it to be gone just like that over something you can't really control. And, um, you know, it was, it was just tough. Um, you know, you're in, the, you're in the training room, you know, with just you and the trainer during practice, you know, you're by yourself just chilling, watching, you know, whatever's on your iPad, you know, just kind of laying there like a dead fish because you can't move, you can't do anything, you're just waiting because it's just a long, long process. But, you know, in the end, um, you know, my family was there for, for me, you know, the coaching staff, and I just had a, a good, strong support. And, uh, you know, I it shortly, you know, with the other injuries, I had to, you know, kind of step it up and uh, help out where I was needed. Now, you're returning, and one thing you have to be looking forward to, you have a shiny toy as wide receiver, Stephon Diggs, <laughs> right? How excited are you to have him on the outside for you? He's an explosive. He's an explosive playmaker, man, and uh, he's one of those guys that you can, you know, dump him the ball at, you know, five, five to six yards, first, and he can take it eight. And uh, he's just an unbelievable weapon, and you know, he's unpredictable, and you never know what's going to happen when you put the ball in his hands. And you know, he's just a very special player to have on the team. And uh, you know, I'm sure he'll shine again this year. But uh, you know, other guys like Nigel King and and Dion Long, who you know, is just transferring in, you know, they'll have to step up as well. So I mean, we're just we have a lot of skill guys coming back that are explosive and. Uh, I know they're excited for this upcoming year. Dexter, I know injuries derailed last year for the Terps. Now it's your senior year. How do you want to finish your Maryland career? Um, I would like to go out for the bang and win the ACC championship. Um, that's always the goal with this year, being my senior year, as well as the last year in the ACC. You know, it'd be real special to be remembered that way. So that's that's definitely the main goal for me right now. Dan Satora, DTB Media. Looking at the advancement of the ACC and the teams coming in, looking at just talent throughout, what are your expectations of your team and how prepared do you feel you are moving forward? Let's start with Dexter. Um, I feel like we're, our team has a lot of promise this year. You know, uh, we lost some key guys on defense, but we have younger guys that are stepping up. Um, J.J. Johnson on the other side of me playing cornerback, you know, he's, he's taking the leadership role. Uh, Matt Robinson is uh, Swiss to Sam linebacker. He gives us some speed on the edge. Um, we have Anthony Mason returning. He was, a, he was a freshman making plays, so we're looking forward to that too as well, as long as some of the D linemen. So I feel like we have a promise um, for the defensive side, um, and I look forward to the season. And then, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, we got a lot of skilled guys coming back, a lot of guys that have played. And, uh, and that's the biggest thing that a lot of young guys have played early, and, you know, now they're really starting to mature. You know, which is promising. And then, you know, when you got teams like Pitt and Syracuse coming in, um, you know, they're going to be competitive. They're coming, you know, they're coming in off strong seasons, and you know, we wish them the best of luck. And you know, we were giving them grief out there earlier about uh, the Syracuse guys didn't have their jerseys for the picture. So, I mean, it's all, it's all, it's all fair. So, I mean, we're just having fun with them, and uh, you know, we welcome to them, welcome, we're welcoming them to ACC. Mark Larson from Whitehead, Syracuse. Just on the Syracuse that Pitt went through last year. Uh, going through the league is kind of a lame duck team. You guys are going to do that this year. Can you both talk about that and and if you expect any hard feelings out there to show on the field from other teams saying, 
you know, take this and, and good riddance. CJ, why don't you go first? I mean, the, the vibe that we're getting from the players, it's it's not really, you know, the players. I mean, it, it wasn't our decision. I mean, I mean if you, you could take it out on us, but, I mean, it, it's bigger than, you know, football or sports. It's, it was a university decision that's out of our hands. Um, you know, when we heard about it, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, rumors being spread. It was kind of just breaking news in your face right away. And, I mean, you know, talking with the guys, I mean, it's not really their hard feelings against us or anything like that. Yeah, the history is rich. The rivalries will be different, but... Um, I mean, all in all, I mean, football is football, and you know we're just gonna go out there, compete, and play, and you know, and have fun. So I mean, I, I don't think there will be anything too hard feelings, especially on the field. Maybe from the fans, that's where you're gonna catch most of the grief because you know the diehard fans and the fan bases, you know, things are gonna change in that nature. But from the guys on the field, you know, the the game and, and the institutions were long here before we were. Yeah, I feel like uh, the players, you know, we just go out there ready to go against the opponent no matter what conference they're in, no matter what, what they're trying to do. We're just trying to win the game against them. Um, I feel like it's more so from the fans, like he said. You know, we'll, we'll go into stadiums and we'll hear fans chant, you know, ACC, ACC. But you never see that from the players. Like, you know, they, they, we just go out there ready to play um, no matter what, whatever situation it is. I feel it's the same way from other teams. But I feel like it's more so the fans that are a little more – Touch you with it. Uh, Mark steered you where I was uh, was going with, with some of that. I'm um, Jim Connors from News 14 Carolina and Time Warner Cable. Uh, Dexter and CJ, for both of you, you have the Ralph to Randy adjustment and, and trying to get your legs in a rough first season. Then you have the injuries. Now you have this big situation that you just spoke to. Uh, you might have came to College Park to play football. Did you have any idea what you were walking into and how has it been trying to navigate the terrain that is, you know, far bigger than just football? Yeah, I mean, I mean, for both of us speaking, I mean, we've been through two head coaches, three offenses and three defensive coordinators, you know, now we're, you know, having this whole dilemma and, you know, but I mean, we've been through a lot and, you know, we're still standing here right now and heads held high and proud of where we are. I mean, we picked this university for a reason because we, we think we, you know, we saw you, uh, saw that we could live here for the next four or five years. And it, it's a great school, great institution, and we, we couldn't be more proud. And But you can't focus on, you know, the little things, um, you know, the distractions, per se. I mean, you, you came here to, you know, get a great ed, uh, education and play football, and that's, you know, kind of what we're focused on. Yeah, I mean, my dad always told me, you know, there's things that are going to happen that you just can't control, and this is just some things that we just can't control, and you just have to move forward and just go with it. And, uh, I mean, we definitely did not see this coming when we came here, but it's happened, and we're just going to keep moving forward. CJ, I wanted to follow up a little bit about your health. When you go out there, you're a multidimensional quarterback. Do you worry at all when you're out there in the open running? Is it is it over? Is it the past? Would you prefer to be a little more a guy who stays in the pocket a little more? Tell me about what runs through your mind now that you're back. Now that I'm back, I mean, uh, I haven't really thought too much about it, you know, to be honest, I mean, once I'm out there, you know, come camp and I'm running around, I'm sure. Uh, but, I mean, the more you play, you know, even throughout, you know, uh, the last season that I played in, even towards the end, I wasn't taking as big a hits. I was being more smart with, you know, getting out of bounds and sliding and things of that nature because, you know, your body can't take it all the time, especially, you know, when you're a mobile quarterback and, you know, you're leaving your body vulnerable to those situations. So, as I, you know, um, I mean, you're going to be, you know, aware of it, but, I mean, nothing's really going to change that much. Because, uh, I mean, when uh, I was talking to the trainers, you know, when I got cleared for my brace, he said, yeah, we'll ease you out of the brace, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we came back after um, summer break, and we came back the first week, and I just kind of went out there and just didn't bring the brace out. And he said, oh, so that's how it's going to be. I said, yep, we're all good now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> everything everything's feels good, so uh, we're just going to leave it at that. You can have this back. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's kind of how, how, how it was left. It looked like the Turks were headed for a bowl game when the injuries started to really cascade. Dexter, uh, is the bowl game a big, big goal for you guys this year? Absolutely. I mean, we made it to a bowl game two years ago, and I, I, I didn't even get to play in that because I got my collarbone broke. So I actually had, still have yet to play in the bowl game. And so that is definitely a big goal for me and our team this year. It's something that I feel like we'll be able to accomplish. Yeah, but, you know, being 4-2 and two after six games, and then, uh, yeah, I think it was losing that one to NC State close, you 
know, put us at five and two, and then, you know, the injury started going downhill, and, um, you know, it was just really unfortunate because, you know, the future was bright. Um, the season was going really well, and you know, I just felt bad for those seniors how that, you know, they kind of had to leave. All right, CJ, CJ Brown, thanks for me too, guys. Really appreciate it. Good luck.